Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerFlyShop.com and Posted Outdoors. Uh, this fly I'm about to tie for you is a dry fly pattern. It's called El Caracatus. Uh, I tie a pretty simple one in here. You could wrap hackle on it if you want to. I don't on this one. This is one of the ways I fish it. Uh, just a really simple way to tie it. An easy dry fly pattern for you. I hope you enjoy it and you can buy the material on our website at HolsingerFlyShop.com and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like what we see. Thank you. Okay, the fly I'm about to tie here is an elk hair caddis. I'm going to start out with some olive thread here. I'm tying it on a size 14 um, Daiichi 1120 scud hook. I like the bend of the hook here on this caddis fly, even though it's a, you know, I'm using a, a scud hook, which is a wet fly hook on a dry fly, but this elk hair will really stand to fly up and a little bit of uh, floating, you really have no problem with using a heavier hook here. I like the, when you're putting this L care on it, I like the hook shank, the the hook gap to be a little bit wider for a little bit better hook set. Now the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to put my body on on this. I'm going to use super fine blue winged olive dubbing. I'm just going to wax my thread a little bit, put some of this dubbing on. Twist it on there, you don't need it real, real thick. As always, like I said, a common mistake that most beginning tires make is making their bodies a little too thick. Now you can do that on this fly too. It's easy to make them too thick. Just going to twist it on there, pull it up to the front, and uh, wrap my body up. This is a pretty simple fly. Um, it's actually a really good beginner's fly to learn to dry fly with because it rides the water so nice. Um, just a little bit of floatant on this and this elk hair really, really keeps it up top. Okay, you can see how I built that up there, a little bit thinner at the back and working my way up. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of elk hide. And uh, I'm just going to take, oh, probably about 20 strands off of it. Just a little clump. And I'm going to pinch them together there. And I'm going to cut it off at the base of the elk hide. Okay, now what I want to do with this is I want to pinch this in my finger. And uh, I'm going to grab it by the tips. And you can barely see it here. There's a lot of fuzzy fibers in there um, underneath the in the hair. I'm just going to take my fingers and pull that out. You can see how I've got a couple of little guard hairs there but a lot of that fuzz. I'm going to take all that out, all the underbody there and get it down to where it's just the tips. Okay. Now I'm going to take my tips and I'm going to take my hair stacker and I'm going to put them tip first down into the end here. Pop them down in there, and then I'm going to take and smack my hair smack hair stacker. Sorry, just pound it on the table a couple times. Okay, now you'll see. I'm just going to take the the tube out of the hair stacker, and you'll see that all the tips are lined up on that now. So I'm going to pinch the tips here and pull them out. Now I don't want this to lay much past the bend of the hook here. A little bit's okay, but you don't want them to go real far, okay? So you just want to line it up there where you want them to go. You want this to be right on top, okay? So I'm just going to pinch it down where I want to have it where I want it, the right length, just hanging over the butt there just a little bit. Pinch it down on top. I'm going to put a soft loop, get it where I need it to be. And then I'm going to do that tight loop to get it down. Okay, now I'm going to take all of these fibers here, try to get them all out of the way, back up on top here. Now you're actually going to make a head with this end, okay? Just pull these all up here, and I'm going to cut these, not tight against it, but you can see just right above it. When you cut it, it leaves just a little bit of a head there, okay? That's the way you want this fly to look. I'm going to pull that back, 
And all the way I got a straggler there. And I'm going to wrap this head off. Then I'm just going to go in and I'm going to whip finish this. Try not to trap down the, the hair fibers on your head there. Try to keep them back out of the way. That's all that's to this fly. It's a very simple fly that when the caddis hatch is coming off, it's going to catch a fish. So give this a try. I hope it works for you.